Well, hello everyone. It's good to see you online today. I am Matt Sergeant, and I'm the pastor for Andrew Chapel United Methodist Church in Vienna, Virginia. I am grateful that you are present with me online today for our short time of devotion in the middle of the week, a time I like to call simply Wednesday's Word. You know, when my girls were little, they would get scared about a lot of things. And I bet parents know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Things would make them scared. And what did, what did children want to do? They want to come close and, and cling on to you when they're scared. They want to be present with you. And I remember this one particular night as we all went to bed. My wife and I went to bed and the girls were asleep. There was this big thunderstorm that came along. And there was this loud boom of thunder just outside of our house. It, it, I thought maybe the house got struck by lightning and we all woke up and our girls ran into our bedroom and they clinged on to us. And, and we just started calming them down, letting them know that everything was going to be okay. Our presence with them in their time of need is exactly what they needed. And soon they fell asleep and they were okay once again. You know, it's so important, isn't it, that when we are scared or we are uncertain about things, that someone is present with us. Now, in many ways, the coronavirus has limited us in how we can be present with others, yes, and, and how we can help others. And that is why I wanted to just take a moment to talk to you today about the ministry of presence. You know, the ministry of presence just simply means moving in close to take time to listen to someone. And while there, this is really kind of more challenging during this time of the pandemic, it certainly isn't impossible, is it? You know, we have a lot of technology and, how, and that technology, the phones and the Skyping and the video chat are many ways that we can connect with others. And, and we can even go to someone's house and just simply sit outside at a safe distance, maybe in their yard, and just be present with them. Because the ministry of presence is probably one of the one things most needed that we can offer as Christians right now in this time of the pandemic. A ministry of presence is really all about laying down all of our agendas and simply being present to listen and to offer empathy with someone else. And that is something, friends, that is so needed right now. You know, in her book, The Broken Way, Anne Van Kamp, or Vos Kamp, says this. She reminds us that Jesus always moves into the places of grief and sorrow and offers up the ministry of presence. She writes this in her book. She said, In a broken world, isn't the call always to communion and fellowship with community that bears our burdens with us? Wasn't suffering then actually a call for us to be a community? to stand together and bear under, trusting that the arms of love are always under us. This is what we're called to do, friends, as a community, to, to bear one another's burdens and to be present. This is the way the church can offer ministry, especially in these difficult times of the pandemic. You know, so often, we think about Jesus' miraculous healings in the Bible, don't we? And, and they're awesome. And they're, they're great. But, you know, let's not miss also the importance of how Jesus did ministry more than just miraculous healings. What he did was he was simply present with people in their time of need. And, you know, I believe that was one of his greatest gifts, just being there. Have you ever felt that need where you just needed someone just to be present with you? Not, not to say anything, but, but just to be present and just to listen. And you know what? Everybody in the body of Christ qualifies to be an expert assistance or assistant to those in need. 
when they're in their time of suffering. And here's the thing. <laughs> I said expert, right? But you don't have to be brilliant. You don't have to be persuasive or articulate or experienced at, the, at this. All you need to do is offer the ministry of presence. Just be there. You know, the great theologian, priest, and writer Henry Nouwen uh, wrote about this, the ministry of presence. And I wanted to read this to you. I, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Maybe this is something, you know, you would want to capture and, and keep um, as a part of remembering the importance of the ministry of presence. And here's what he says. More and more, the desire grows in me simply to walk around, greet people, enter their homes, sit on their doorsteps, play ball, throw water, and be known as someone who wants to live with them. It is a privilege to have the time to practice this simple ministry of presence. Still, he admits, it's not as simple as it seems. My own desire to be useful, to do something significant, or to be part of some impressive project is so strong that soon my time is taken up by meetings, conferences, study groups, and workshops that prevent me from walking the streets. It is difficult not to have plans, not to organize people around an urgent cause, and not to feel that you are working directly for social progress. But I wonder more and more if the first thing shouldn't be to know people by name, to eat and drink with them, to listen to their stories, and yes, when the time is right, of course, tell your own, and to let them know with words, handshakes, and hugs that you do not simply like them, but truly love them. Henry Nouwen is so right on about the ministry of presence, isn't he? And yes, these times are, are very different for us in the pandemic, and it's harder to offer a ministry of presence. But friends, it's not impossible. It's not impossible. We, we can do this as a church, can't we? We can do this as individuals. And I think this is one of the things most needed right now. You know, in these uncertain times, I, I was thinking about Matthew 1.23. Yeah, that goes all the way back to the, the birth narrative of Jesus, you know. And when, when Jesus' birth is announced... And you remember the words, the virgin shall conceive and give birth to a son, and they will name him Emmanuel, which means God with us. You see, God chose to put on flesh and come to earth as a baby who grew to be a man and who chose to be with people and to walk alongside them in their time of need and in their suffering and to lay down his life for them. And you know, friends, in the same way, we are designed to, to dwell with others in community. We, we need to carve out some space in our time, in our busy times, to be with others. We need to seize the opportunity to be Christ-like, to be like Emmanuel, God with us to those in our community. Will you take time this week to offer to someone the ministry of presence? You don't have to be qualified, friends. You just need to be with them. One of the greatest needs of all. Let's go to God in prayer, shall we? Well, ever-present Lord, we are thankful that you are always present with us in each and every way, especially in our times of need. You have called us to do the same, to be present with others. And it is not that we need special gifts to be present with someone. We, we don't need, Lord, to be brilliant or persuasive or 
articulate or experienced. We just need to listen and to show empathy. So help us this week, O oh God, to offer the ministry of presence with others. And we pray this in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, friends, I hope that you have a great rest of the week. And it's been awesome to be present with you online this day. I hope that you join us this Sunday at 10 a.m. for online worship. And take care and God bless.